Okay, everybody, just making sure everything looked great and all that. But welcome back to Cowboy Burgundy. And <laughs> Thanks for being here, everybody. There's a lot of people are here on Twitch still. And so um, we're just continuing on here. This is the next episode. And we're going to let the attacks roll out, see what happens. Uh, hopefully we can take out Morelva today. And uh, we'll see what happens here, you know. So it looks like Morelva's down to three castles. Holy Gustavo's down to four. And we might get to start on Shinobi today. We'll have to see what happens. So let's get into it here. All I got to do is set the attacks and go, and we are good to go. <laughs> they didn't bother attacking, so we got in there. That's good. So thanks for being here, Altison. How you doing tonight, man? Let's go. Alright, so we are attacking... Oh boy, it's gonna be a tough fight. I, I feel really bad taking down Morelva. I just, the first team I played as with was the United Islands Morelva, and I really, really like Stella. I like Pluto, I like Umamaro, I like almost everybody on that team. Almost. I don't really like Sheridan. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Hey, Lightning, how you doing? I feel so bad, Stella. I'm so sorry. But in the name of the game, I have to conquer you. Well, I mean... In a way. Yeah, kind of have to. But how's it going, Lightning? Everybody that's jumping in here. The stream shut down, restarted. Just, um, if you're doing this on Twitch, just reload your page. If you're having any problems or anything, just reload the page and it should work out fine. I could do a massive amount of editing later on, but then I wouldn't know where to stop and start, so I just figured this is easier. <laughs> just to do it like this. Doing pretty good so far. Pretty tiring day, but, you know. Everything's looking alright. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to plan this out. I probably should think about this before I jump in here. Got two snakes, they could be in a water. Got that. She's water. She likes the water. Town evasion here. I think the rampart still counts too, doesn't it? So yeah, everybody, uh welcome on YouTube. Welcome to the Well, welcome to the video on YouTube. But um please, if you enjoy this kind of content, please leave some likes on the video, that'd be nice. And uh please subscribe too. You know, I'm looking to get a thousand subscribers, <laughs> so hopefully you can help me get there. Because it's been a long time. We're growing pretty fast now, I'm surprised. We're actually growing really fast, but it'd be cool to get up to a thousand subscribers. And for Twitch, too. A thousand subscribers on Twitch, that'd be amazing also. I'd love to have that. I wouldn't mind having that. It'd be pretty nice. But, uh... I'd say with this with this LP so far, it's it's tough. It's tough to spread out and like a virus and just take over everything. I'd say it's it's not easy, especially with this country. But I have to say that Rudo can make up for that uneasiness because you military clean military rule somebody and they go down. And the fact that weakness is like 100% guarantee in this game. Makes that military rule just that much better. It makes it just that much better. Okay.
What's really interesting is they're going to capitalize on taking that water advantage, aren't they? They really are, too. So yeah, how's it going, Lightning? Seems things are going okay for you. It's good to hear. We are going to try to capitalize on their capital here. Because it's here and all that. Let's see how this works though. They've got a really good defensive position though. I mean, this this capital defensive position is amazing. It's truly amazing. I, I, I really like how it's built. It's quite good. is quite good. <laughs> Looks like they're going to come out. I'm pretty sure they're going to come out to me. Coming in. That's an assault. That's an assault formation right there. They're coming in. Okay, they're off the water. We just keep them off the water, that'd be fantastic. Okay, I'm not sure about this one though. They might get one off the water. Or one on the water, I mean. Okay, so we've got. Okay, we're still meadows, which is good, but oh, she's, oh man, that's not, it might stay there and then Stella might come in and attack. If Stella's on the water, she prefers water, she's going to get evasion, that's not good for me. I have to get her off the water. They got this stuff incoming here. Magic, we've got some thunder spells. Should be nice to use. Okay, I've got thunder spells. Let's try to use that. Let's pull back one here. Gonna try to set ourselves up. Let's not protect him. Protect the Wyvern. No, actually, no, you're close to protecting that. No, what? Okay. Let's see what you can protect here. <clears throat> protect the Wyvern there. Uh, gonna sit. You know, this is too. Move back. Protect this guy up here. I'll pull back a little bit. You want to come across the water, man? Okay. Gonna make his life a lot harder, though. I'm gonna have to loop heal, pull him back, do regular heal, which is okay with me.
Little taily whip there. Actually, just give him a straight appeal here. Wait a second. Uh. Kind of do, don't I? Man, there's no way I can do any kind of cleanse here. Or uh, any kind of charm, I mean. Uh, I'd have to say it's interesting. I just can't do any damage. I, I can't do anything and it's not going to get healed up though. They heal at very high levels. They don't, like, in the older version of the game, they would heal at uh, under 300 hit points. Now they'll heal at, like, under 200 hit points that you've lost. So they... They make it a lot harder. Really? That's as far as I can go with you. I could get out here, but... Okay. Okay, I kind of need to know where she's going to go. Because I have absolutely no idea. Let's get you over there. It's a great question, though, Avano. So, uh, which one do I like better? Well, I think the story is very intriguing. I've always thought uh, the story with Ascaris is very intriguing. They're a very powerful country. You know, if you play them right, they can be quite powerful, but 
Uh, not one of my top favorites ever. Never really been. Um, just gonna wait. All I can shoot is you too. That's right. Well, I could go for you maybe. I could have you sit here and burn some heals though. I like the knights in here though. Knights are quite nice. Yep, gotta sit there. They have a lot of heals here, it's gonna be tough. Really? I missed you in the forest? I missed her in the forest. Give me some Aqua Velvet, thank you. Oh, I thought he was going to do Crybird. Well, that could be maybe mistake number one. We'll have to see. I don't know. I might not even get a good accuracy on you. I might have to halo my hits. Yep. I gotta do it. We could go for a 3% chance, <laughs> or a 35% chance. I'd miss her anywhere she goes. I probably went. Yeah, it's probably the truth of the fact. It's probably the truth of the fact, I have to say. Okay, we gotta protect him, because I'm gonna breath attack through him. think there's much else I can do they they kind of plugged all my plugged all the holes She is quite powerful. This is why I brought her for thunder. This is why. I know what leaders they have down here. They have some berserkers that got red too, but... Oh boy.
probably have a good chance to. Oh my gosh. 59%. Do you see the percentages I'm getting? It's not very good. It is not very good, that's for sure. Holy word! Let's do it! <laughs> if I focus on Stella, I might be able to knock her out. I've got a, a decent chance with that. I've got uh, Team C to go next, so... Archer shot, breath attack... Yeah, that's what... Oh, that'll be enough. That'll be enough. What else do I have? Breath attack? I think I could just go with a Geno, honestly, if that's if she's down to two. 41? I think a breath attack should finish that off. I think breath attack will definitely do it. Uh, plus there's an archer shot, too. If that doesn't, I'd be mightily surprised. Seriously. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Ooh! We might be able to take out a level 9. And what? <laughs> We need the Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch. <laughs> Consult the Book of Armament. I'd rather get rid of their big snakes, honestly. It's this is a bit much. Um I mean it can can we class her to something, or is she already... Oh no, she, she could class into something else. We could try that. We, I mean, we could try that, but... Prepare the Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch! Burn the Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch! Giga shot! It's Giga Enormous! Goodbye! Yay! Let's get ourselves a holy dry dragon. See, this is another reason why I I put still on the front lines in the past, not to this serious degree. But to a, to a point that it's it's tough to knock her out. You saw the percentages of trying to hit her, you know. And if she has enough heals, and she has, she just was completely in the front line. She was even in the forest too, which didn't help her very much, you know. I think a thunder dragon might be good, or holy dragon, thunder or holy. Have to see whatever people I kind of want to vote for. I don't mind. You know, we'll see what we can do with that. It'll be good down here. The thing is, it'll be good down here, but this team might be going after the Republic of Gamal next, which has, you know, Eliz Eliza, who's red, might be going after Shinobi, who's holy. 
go after Tim. It's dark. Might go after Norzalio. It's blue. So, really kind of depends, because as soon as this team is done and kind of cleaning house and cleaning up afterwards, they have to go somewhere else. So, you know. Green seems like a, a pretty decent element for here, though, because... I mean, there are red dragons and all that. But there are also snakes, too, that the enemy teams have. And if we go after Rubino, who's blue, the green dragon would be pretty good against him, honestly. You know, just comes down to what people, you know, they kind of think with this. Oh, man. I gotta say, that's a, it's it's a really tight fight against Stella. I, I feel like I'm fighting against Rudo from beforehand. Because she's got the evasion, you know? She's got hit points, too. She's got evasion and hit points. It's like fighting Iria. <laughs> we got to go in there. No way. We're just underscored, but we got to go in there. I'm going to take our, our hairy fairies and just stick it to them. We're gonna do great. We're gonna do great things with all these little hairy fairies. We're gonna do great, great, great things. We are gonna go in their bathroom, take a shower, and clog up their drain. That's what we're gonna do. All these hairy fairies. What's it take to skin a, a flying cat? I'm just going to clog everything up with all this hair. <laughs> Mua has dialogue with Gilliam here. You're still alive? Inconceivable. <laughs>。What is Mua carrying? Is he carrying a cross? Gilliam has so much dialogue. Poked him. Razors and a jetpack. Is that the lie used so that they would let you fight again? I see your bodies, but only think getting old. I don't think for a moment things will go like last time. I know all your tricks. So I guess this is the dialogue when you get really old and you have a friend and you both decide to go fight for different countries and you gotta fight against each other. And you've been friends the whole time but now you gotta fight each other. This is the dialogue for that. We are finally going to fight Gomol. I don't know what you said, but it sounded important. This could be a tough fight, considering I gotta go down a bridge. We got little Gizmo here. <laughs> it was, it was I can't believe you named him Gizmo. Please don't block that bridge. Please don't block that bridge. Get a bunch of, a bunch of dogs and hairy fairies. Waiting at the bridge. Oh man, you're gonna not be able to get in there, are you? Judge Dredd, you need to get over there, man. You need to 
get over there. How about we go up in the mountains and we just completely go around? I mean, you like the mountains, right? But you don't like the high mountains. How can you call yourself a grappler if you don't like the high mountains? I don't get that. You, I, I don't think you can really call yourself a grappler. It probably makes it more of a misnomer. He calls himself a grappler and he cannot... He cannot repel. He can't grapple onto mountains. He can't climb mountains. He can't climb up places. It's a sad, sad day. The grappler can't climb a mountain. Mua's holding some kind of staff. I think he's holding a cross. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute, though. Got a little gizmo back here. Oh, please do. Please back away from the bridge. I need that bridge. I miss the days when dragons could just frolic at five spaces a turn. I miss those days. I guess the fact is because they don't really work that well, I should probably sacrifice them to the, the Brigandine God. You know, the rune god here. Make a good sacrifice. Buy some hydras instead. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at a staff. Let's let's uh let's diagnose something here. It's it's like a circular cross or like an ankh or something. Dragons for the Burgundian god. Yes. Yes. Might have to sacrifice them all. Except for two. I'll probably keep one. I'll keep one or two of them. Just to make some ancients. Ancients are quite powerful. I follow your banner! Hey, thanks for the follow. Err... 07? How you doing today? Should I go punch the snot out of this thing?
Yeah, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. We are going to try to win this one here. For all the Tregarians out there, we have to do it. We have to do it like that. It's important. It's very important. Ooh, nobody named that blue elemental there. Yeah, are you new to uh, Brigadine or have you been playing it for a while? Zizer. Right, did you name yourself after ZZ Top? Or something like that. It looks like an axe. It's also replicated on the other end of the staff. You can only see its picture. Oh, crap. He fainted me on the water? You fainted him on the water. That's crazy. They got kind of lucky there. All right, so we got uh Don't know. Oh, I can heal him from here. Let's do that. That's pretty good. Let's go like that. Uh, I really can't get any closer here, can I? That's about it. What's down here? We're just gonna do some, uh, taking down some hairy fairies here. I'm so glad they don't do a counter <laughs> thunderbolt <laughs> attack. That would drive me nuts. Drive me nuts. Mina, what does need to eat? Yeah, Where's my hit, please? Why can't my wyvern hit? Is my wyvern defunct from hitting? Okay, this is not that great, but... Key Largo. Mr. Whack-a-Mole, please hit. Oh, jeez. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We're going to be killing a lot of hairy fairies here. There's too many of them. I gotta kill him off. Too many protect spells are gonna pop.
Okay, she's gonna be a little too hurt. They still have all of this still roaming around. Um, I can't really do much else. Could pull you back. C team is gonna go, and then C team is gonna get the uh, the hit on me. I have an idea though. Oh wait, that's just Kawadal idea. Oh boy. Okay. It's getting a little risky here. Let's see, what could we do? Okay, B-Team has a lot of protects. Yikes! He certainly did get vaporized. That was basically a game over for him. I don't know. This could do faint to my whole team. It's I'd kill two of the Harry Fairies though, but hmm, this could really mess me up. And they're likely going to try to do that, aren't they? Um. Ooh, 45. Yes. Silence. <laughs> really? 0% chance? Come on. It can't be that good. That's insanely good. What, what the hell do you have on you? 0% chance to silence you, that's a bit much. Okay, um... 
Don't know where to move you, really. Got I got no good place to put you. Should protect my other dude. You know, I wanna protect what are you? Level six? I'm gonna protect you instead, because you're gonna be you'll be going out there. You'll be doing some damage, hopefully. And since this guy is basically a glorified unicorn, I don't know if I should even do this. But then again, that's she might stay right there. You know what? This is a lot of dan this is a lot of people to hit. This might help me out. I'm gonna go for holy word here. He got a kill! No way! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Oh! Crit hit! Yes, there we go. Nicely done, bro. You paralyzed my... what? Come on, that's not fair. I was hoping that would help out a lot. Kind of helped, but not like I'd hoped. So my healer is paralyzed, and my other healer sucks. So what are we gonna do? This could be a good idea, although my little blue one is gonna take some damage. My guy, too. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, like Ryu stuff. I like the, I have to say, the older game, I like the grappler looking better there. This grappler looked just a little too beefy. I mean, I, I get it, you know, the champion looked good. The champion from the LOF looked the best. Absolute best. Just the way it looks in, uh, in Grand Edition. This one looks a little too beefcake to me. This guy looks like, uh, I don't know, like Popeye. Or maybe 
not quite like Popeye, but I, I, I like the older look better. Gotta say, I do. I don't know if I should even do anything. Whoa! Because it makes Alsen look really strange. He's like a 60-year-old guy that barely has any muscle, and yet he looks like this. <laughs> he looks like... Well... Okay. I don't know if I should even do this. I really can't save that northern crew, can I? No, I can't. There we go. Oh, jeez. What do they have on them? I don't even remember. Defense up. And you got... Okay, so you both have defense up. Uh, what about you? None shall pass. Hello. I have no quarrel with you, good Sir Knight, <laughs> but I must cross this bridge. Then you shall die. I command you, as King of the Britons, to stand aside. I move for no man. So be it. <laughs> How's it going, Hillholm? Thanks for the raid. 33% chance. Oh, missed it. Thanks so much for the raid, Hill Home. How you doing, man? How's it going? We were having a pretty good night tonight. Although we had... Uh, this is a pretty difficult fight. I have to say that much. Ah, I can't even do anything with you. Right, I'll just move you forward here. Going to. I don't know what we're gonna do with him. How to use the switch controller to turn off the system at the moment? Uh, you hit the home button. That's all you really gotta do. 100% down to 99. Wait, who's going next? Who's going next? B team. Does B team have any heals? No, they don't have any heals. Yeah, how's it going, man? Thanks so much for that. Oh, good. You missed. You biffed. You biffed hard. Should I just do some loop heals for now? I, I I wonder if maybe that's more appropriate. Just considering the fact that I've got no healers left. Oh, wait, no. Oh. oh, I got one more heal there. Let's give uh, loop heal there. Um, wait, how much is it? Oh, I'll be down to 37. It's either... It won't really do me much good, honestly, then. Let's do... 
Give it to Key Largo over here. So everybody, if you're new to this, this is Burgundine. The Legend of Renarzia. We are playing as Mana Celestia Theocracy. It's an insanely powerful team if you use Rudo. Whoa! Rudo is quite powerful, and when I'm fighting with him right now, I'm just using two knights. Oh, thank God you missed me. I was I was a little worried about that one there. Where should we go with you? So yeah, we're playing this right now. Uh, we're in a pretty difficult battle. We are fighting against the Republic of Gamol, which is quite strong. Okay, if I move up here, I gotta move him to... Thief's uppercut. Get him. Heal up a little bit. Take out the big guy. Acid breath. And that knight has not even come out to play yet. That makes this just that much more dangerous. Oh, it's 71% and he misses. That's not great. That is not great for me. Not bad, not bad. We punched him back a little bit. Ah, let's get, uh... Okay, you're out. You've got three spaces to do what? Venom. Which that could kill it off. Um, I'm gonna have to sacrifice that, I think. I'm gonna have to sacrifice this unicorn. Gotta heal up this, uh... Gotta heal up the bird here. He's gonna do a lot of damage. This is a tough fight. This is a very tough fight. We haven't really gotten to do anything against their leaders yet. We're just focusing, killing a lot of their monsters right now, you know? Um... <laughs> Two point five hours you made it through a turn and a half. This game does take longer to play than the original, man. The original game... Um, I, I I think as far as like certain aspects go, the original game is a little harder, but in other aspects, this game's a little harder. And it's because this game does plan a, a, more of their formations, you know? He solidified my leader. Oh no, that's not good. Well, that was that. He just stoned my leader. You know, where's the 420 when you need it? Apparently he's got full of it. And he's he's got uh, he's got defense up and petrify on. So that does give me 150 defense. Which does work in a way. But not the way I'd hoped. You know? And this thing is still stunned. That's a bit nuts. I wish I could stick tap my own guy, wake him up. With heads held high! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks, Pedro. <laughs> oh, and he crit me. I hope this team doesn't lose. We were having a rough time fighting this, I'll tell you that much. Oh, I can't even... I can't do anything with this team. This is not good. Probably got like a billion more heals left. Nope, there's actually out of heals. We are literally going full bare bones here. Full bare bones, that's for sure. I guess I have to... I don't know. Guess we're just gonna do some assault clawing here. You know? Better have more heals from Gilliam. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, I don't have a 1, 2, 3 lighting. <laughs> Seeing what skills were and what to do looking at monsters also and such. Yeah, it does take a while, man. It it This game does take a while to get... You get so much more gear, too. All your monsters, all your knights get four pieces of gear apiece. It's, it's a lot to deal with, really. It truly is. Man, that really mucked things up. Well, at least he's out of magic. I don't think he has any more magic to do. Well, unless there's something under 40. Oh, crap, he's got a Venom spell, too. Mina. I don't know what to do with Gilliam. I just, just, just hang out, man. Just hang out, bro. And there goes a unicorn. Well, good luck getting through a petrified guy. Good luck trying to break through that. You can try that all day long, and I'm, I'm sure at some point it's going to happen, but... It's going to take a long, long time. <laughs> a very long time. Okay, we got B team to go. Why am I stuck in here again? Reasons? Is it just because of reasons? Maybe it could be just because of reasons. Uh, oh, because this, this thing's here. 59. 59. If we could get him to run away... That'd be perfect. I can't really get anybody else to do much else. I could punch one dude away. I'll have to punch a dude squarely in the jaw. Squarely. Well, if it's not very squarely, it's not going to work, but... Oh! I get two for one. I get a two for out this. Breaking blow. Or Breaking Benjamin, whichever one you... You shielded it, bro. Good job. Fortunately, unfortunately for you, I planned that. <laughs> you, can't, you can't defend that, can you? I really don't like being in this position. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. See, he's up to 76, he's up to 80 something. We'll go for him. Oh, he got me. He hit me! Have you seen double movement that's actually hitting away? Yes, and then double attack is what was the other one, you know? Can I move forward? No, can't move forward yet. Rock throw. Come on, man. This guy missed twice with 70% chances of throwing stones. He's really bad. Yeah, you keep trying that. We'll see how far that takes you. <laughs> we'll see. Power Fist 500? Turn 8, can I even break into this castle? It's like, 
お前さんに耐えられるかの Ah, man, and he stuck a poison on him, too. Dude got so freaking lucky. That Muar guy got so insanely lucky. You suck. I hate you, Muar. I hate you with a passion. I should just go take her down. She's on the water. I don't know what else to do with him. Punch the gillium stick, maybe. Might have to happen. And with a little pixie tap, too. A little tap tap a -roo. Oh, She's gonna do some massive damage to me, that's for sure. She's staying? Can I even win this fight? That's that's one thing I'm wondering about. I don't know. I don't know if we can win this fight, but... I've been trying. They're extremely stubborn, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, he's gonna do so much damage to me. I, I gotta know why dragons really don't even compare to knights in this game. They really don't. I mean, look at the damage differences. They, they're not even close to equal. Knights are just so much stronger. They are so much stronger. It's nuts. I guess I'm going for this thing. It's like I just have to avoid hitting dra avoid hitting knights altogether half the time. I can't even do it. I, it's just not really plausible. The only thing I can think to do is do this. Nice. The bigger lizards definitely are better. Got our stone guy going here, which is always not the greatest. Oh man, I have such an opportunity to kill her right now. I'm just gonna hurt my own dude so much. Yikes. Oh, she's just down to 31. Well, at least that's closer to death. I could probably get him in there and do something. She's mountain preference, so we might be able to kill her off that time, but still. Even still, that's just... Not great. I could go for Mua, maybe? I think we could go for Mua. That might make him run. Because they, they have no heals left, and he's he's literally, like, he can't really do anything. Make him run. He'll be low enough. I get the the big guy in there. He'll, he'll maybe throw a rock or something. This thing's empty. They seem to be pretty stubborn about Wasn't things, you know? Wait, you had a heal still? You never used it? Oh my god, wow.
one. <laughs> you you stay there and do that. That's fine with me. I will kill all your monsters, that's for sure. I will do it. I'll make a whole new team. I have no grapes about that. Yeah, you better get the hell out of here, Mua. Mua! <laughs> you gotta leave, bro. That's too much damage. I will kill you. I will do it. I guarantee it. Oh, if he would have crit, he would have got it. The Mermaid's Charm song. Elements Mana Wars? I wonder. Okay, what can he do to... Oh boy, he could really wreck my day if I attack him anymore, I think. Oh boy. This battle got really risky. I mean, seriously risky. Back up, bro. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. It's time for Mr. Stone to go. What's Mr. Stone gonna do? We have enough for another breath attack. Did they kill off all my pixies? All my hairy fairies? I think they did. Might have to save some of those guys. Uh... Frost shot. Boom! We're gonna give this guy some big punchies here. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. You don't deserve to be here anymore. That was a tough fight. They killed a bunch of stuff, we killed a bunch of stuff. Gilliam, you barely helped secure the victory, man. You are like the worst knight in this entire game, I have to say. Gilliam is the new Langobor. I can't see anybody worse than him. One holy word and a heal? Like, his intelligence is 60. He, he has worse intelligence than a freaking unicorn. As a cardinal. That's insane. He's like worse than Langoborg. We could do better. We could definitely do better. Maybe we'll have to level up Veda and put him over here instead because I don't know about this guy. I'd almost rather just quest Gilliam because he's high enough to go questing for stuff. Yeah, Patternus laughs at him. Patternus laughs at him. Patternus is decent. 
He's a he, Patras is a dragon killer in Grand Edition, and in LOF, he's a, the absolute dragon killer. Patras would absolutely laugh at Gilliam here. Gilliam is a joke. He's a joke knight. <laughs> I almost quite literally think he's a joke knight. Oh man, do I have to put him over here? Or are we gonna keep leveling him up? Are we gonna keep leveling him up? Patternus hits like a truck. Yes, he does. He really does, Treble. He's a barbarian in a robe. He's a big dude! Patternus is actually a big dude. If you see the cutscene for him, he's like a... You know, he's kind of like a friar. He drank a lot of beer throughout his life, but he's a big dude. When he hits dragons, he can just, you know, kill him and get like 170 points of damage on a hit with this big ass, you know, mace attack. He can do some serious damage to dragons. You know, you, you, people don't give Patternus the credit he's due sometimes, and he he really is due that credit. So what we're doing here, Hillholm, I don't know if you play it enough here, but we're I have Rudo here, which this guy is an absolute killer, and I mean that in like every which way possible. Uh, it's just going two teams, just Emma and Rudo. We're just going to see if they can just annihilate the whole world. I'm just gonna go, th it'll be like a two-man team for Rudo here. I'm Rudo of Manislesia, and everybody sucks, except for me. Your corpses aren't even worthy of being in my presence, I will trample on them. This guy is such a badass. This will be a good match. Olsen versus Rudo. The puppeteer. The weird puppeteer dude. I don't know if you got to play as any bit of Mana Celestia yet, uh, Hail Home, but you will be thoroughly disgusted with Rudo's character <laughs> after you play him. Just a little bit. I mean, that in the, the truest sense of the fashion, too. Thoroughly disgusted. He is about as strong as he is evil. He is not a good man. At all. He's like the worst of the worst. Definitely a quester, level 20, only 190 magic pool. Yeah, his magic pool sucks, his intelligence is at 65 to start. Which, that's basically unicorn status. That's essentially unicorn status right there. And I don't know what else to say about it. It's just... Ugh, it's... it's... It leaves a bad taste in your mouth. <laughs> if not, it just leaves a bad taste anywhere, really. He's like, you know, Langaborg gets like... One heal. The worst rune power for a knight. Really bad growth stats. The only thing he can really do that I that I did with him was put him in a Snake of Chaos fight as a ninja master, and he could heal himself two times, which he did, and it worked out great for him, but he could heal himself once and twice, and that was all the magic he had, and I think I had a Balmot and a Salamander with him, and that's all he could really carry. He had no rune power to do it. Squat. It was a sad day. It's a very sad day. Where should I go? This Quaddle looks like it's pretty happy to come out to me, so maybe not too far. I don't know, that could be good enough. I don't know what to do with this thing right now. Mm, not sure what to do with you either. We'll just kind of go there. Just kind of go here. Get some airy heels set up. Gonna get... Uh, I don't know. Guess I'll probably do... Suppose that. Figured I'd give him some something delightful to him and attack. <laughs> 
yeah, I got this. We can kill off this ghoul. That's what we're gonna do. They're gonna run if we kill off that ghoul. Cause that's what everybody does. We kill off ghouls. Yeah, man. We'll see how that works out. Could work out for you. Maybe it won't. But it could. There's a small, small chance. I do mean very, very small. Very small. Wait, what does she have? Does she have, um... Venom, one through three. I was hoping we had something like that. One, two, Trace. Better stay inside all the time. We're like, sir, they killed our ghoul. We brought a ghoul, why? <laughs> For fun! We bought a ghoul for fun as a targeting mechanism. They're like, we could kill that ghoul! Let's go do it! Ooh. YOLO! Come We're on. actually more like, uh... LeRogic! <laughs> now that they run in here... All half-cocked, <laughs> we could maybe do some serious damage. Melt. Adios. Almost looks like adios. I have a lich. I could have a whole field of liches if I did that. It's quite possible. And now, my friend. Or, I mean my enemy. Now that you've decided to be quite ignorant of my prowess, my capabilities, you will suffer a tremendous something or another. I just wanted to be dramatic. Um, <laughs> no one would definitely question that decision. No one ever in their right mind. Okay, so we are going to give a guaranteed weakness. So this is another thing, Hillholm. This is not normal. Absolutely not normal at all in Brigadine. Weakness is a gamble spell. But in here, it's a guaranteed spell. So this guy is now... Stupid weak, because I say so. And now... Divine Ray. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Untainted path. That's how you do it. Not anymore, I'll sin. You've sinned too greatly. Now you'll be punished for your sins. In the afterlife, goodbye. Let's do us a little bit of some healing roar here. Ah! And now for my greatest trick. Trick it. Oh man, they can counter that. But why? Wait, do I have hidden away? I think I do. 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 I think I do.
Not really. Judgment Furry. Yeah, we kind of need to get rogue, don't we? We sort of do. <laughs> Should have made the holy in quotes, eh? Well. I think we'll just go with the Venom spell here. You could cleanse it, but you... Uh, well, yeah, you could cleanse and heal. This is a good opportunity right here. I don't know. You could see how powerful Rudo is. Rudo has... For just now, he'll get stronger. Just now, 270 power. That's ungodly power for a, for a move that's not pre-move. It burns up most of his MP, but he can get... He, later on, he can get all that back. Judgment Furry? It's not a Harry Fairy? <laughs> well, let's say it's not. <laughs> let's say it's not for a second. Holy Word... You know, we are getting the demon back there, so we'll take care of the, the knight, the demon, the dog, the dragon, and blah 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 blah. It's pretty good. So far, so good. Knocked out a leader. Push them down a bit. You can heal up all you want, man, but it's gonna go down for you, bro. My two leaders versus your whatever is still better. Just saying. Just saying, you saw how fast Elson went down. And he was a white dot. Just imagine I'm fighting Tim. <laughs> and I put a weakness on him. Which I don't know if that'll work. Oh no, he doesn't have a Brigadine. So it'll probably work on Tim. Oh my god, that's gonna be so, so nice. We're gonna need another Timmy! We're gonna need another Timmy! It's a little dangerous here for her, but she is getting experience with all that, so... You know? It's gonna be quite painful for him. Gotta say. Okay, so Rudo didn't really need a, any kind of health here, it would seem. Oh jeez, this is over. Game over. Immediately. Weakness. Game over. Thanks for playing. You know what, I just want to see what Rudo can do. If Rudo can just literally one-shot her now. Just because. White Purge? Wow, that's insane. Dude is smoking powerful. 290 points of damage. 290 points of damage. He's got to get the kill, though. Weakness is super powerful in this game. Super powerful. I'm literally two-shotting her. It's a guaranteed thing. It's almost like I should just bring nightmares instead. I can just two-shot people. I'm sorry, Noi. I mean, Ionia.
think so. Possibly. I'm not really sure, because, I mean, Grand Edition worked out pretty quick to me. The stopping noises, though? Yeah. I don't really need this ghoul anyways, this was just for fun to have it in here. It was a targeting mechanism, and it worked, it, it did its job. I miss that if they move on, like, land, or... I, I, I would like to hear, like, swishing sounds when they're moving on water, but I just hear dunk, 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 you know? I'd like to hear something like that. Um, she 100 experience? Oh yeah, it's right there. Uh, I got no halo spells. I think I miss halos on angels. Angels don't get any... any hate. They don't get any halos. I, I miss the halos on the angels, I have to say. So it's like you kind of have to have a pegasus. You know? What you saying, Hill? Grand Edition isn't real, so the comparison is to the actual OG running from the disc that it was making. Oh, okay. Well, Grand Edition is real. <laughs> I mean, it is real. It's not not real real, but it's a game real, you know? Well, I have the English version if you haven't seen it, so I've had that for some time. Or should I just breath attack through? Uh, ooh, better, better yet, better yet. I know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying at all, Hillholm. Gotta, gotta repeat that to me, man. Like a billion times, and I'll finally get it. Well, it works the same way, and it's got all the same words in there and all that. So, yeah, I've played Grand Edition for quite a long time, Hillholm. Don't downplay my, my playing of the game, because it's it's there. It's guaranteed. It's a guaranteed hit. It's a guaranteed hit, man. It's great. It's great. I don't think so, Hill Home. I don't think so. You know what, from now on I'm gonna call you Hill Not at Home. Or or something like that. Oh, for the official disc? Well, we didn't even... This doesn't even come with English actors, man. <laughs> You're going to be waiting 20 more years. <laughs> and then we're going to translate it again <laughs> without their help. <laughs> and that's how it's going to happen. <laughs> oh. Poor Ivan. Actually, this Ivan's the better, the better version of the Ivan. You had no chance of victory. I'm just too much of a badass. And you guys all kind of suck. My name's Rudo. Vote me for president. Yeah, I, if they do that, I'd love to help out with that. I, I would play a character with a deep voice, you know, with a cowboy hat or something like that. I, I'd do pretty good at that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This, they want to redo the Grand Edition stuff, but it's still not going to have any English actors to it. Seems I, I just, I can just kind of tell by the way that they, way they kind of push this out here. It's very likely they're just going to go with it like that. Um. But you never know. They might change their mind. If we if we yell loudly enough, they might hear. You know, the uh, the rune god might hear us, 
and uh, might we might fracture its um, its uh, its confidence, well, possibly. And this is what I want. You know, this is actually what I want to do. I just want to go with Emma and Bruto, and we can just crack a bunch of eggs, just because how powerful this dude is. He can literally just this kind of team weakness. Go in military, clean military rule. Whoosh! Gigantic claymore. Boom! Dead. Rudo's insanely powerful. He's like, he's like Zemeckis was in LOF. Even worse. Even stronger. Nobody attacked us. We're getting to attack everybody. This is great. <laughs> this is absolutely great. This is so cool. Also being a semi-key, I had to be able to play it now versus... WITH HEADS HELD HIGH! Well, it's limited... Oh, hey, that's cool, man. Managed to convert enough people to ruin faith, they might give us what we want. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to do that trouble. We're gonna have to figure some things out. We're definitely gonna have to do that. Thanks, Lightning. We're going to have to do it very quickly, too. So apparently you're saying that we have to do it very quickly. Well, this was always a cult classic, so I don't know if we're really starting a cult. We're just kind of leading the cult. I think that's the point. I think we're just leading it right at this point. So, Cowboy Brigandine, we're going to be leading the cult forward to uh, English translate everything, you know? Our high priest, Veracity Trigger. More of a magician, maybe. Probably more of the magician, but... Yeah, I guess if you want to say the High Priest, it's fine. High Priest, Magician, uh, Blade Master, maybe Blade Master because I'm like, I'm an, I've, I've actually practiced medieval swordplay, so I know the blade, I know the sword. European stuff, not Eastern stuff. I've yet to do the Eastern stuff, but... Something like that. You come up with the idea. I'm not sure. Whatever, whatever, you know, floats your boat. We'll go with that one. This is going to be interesting coming into this forest, though. I wonder. You know what? It's going to be good. Grandmaster Cowboy. <laughs> the Grandmaster Cowboy. <laughs> We're going to get our lassos and our chess pieces. And we're going to throw it at them until they listen to us. If they don't, we are going to draw trick them in and we are going to Sol Invictus the crap out of them. So they, so they have to listen to us. Because it's going to be so damaging. It's going to be so damaging. <laughs> Come on, Elo. You're going to make all the Europeans feel differently. Oh, we got another sword master we're going to be facing off against. Is it Jose or is it Sid? I wonder why they use the word Sid, considering that one of the guys that helped build the game helped build one of the Final Fantasy games, and they always put a Sid in Final Fantasy. I wonder why they put a Sid in this game. Is there a reason to that? I mean, there could be, but it's just a theory, you know? It might not be true, but, you know, you never know. It could be real. I just wonder. <laughs> now, I know it's not the same spelling, but it's still the word Sid. <laughs> Which is kind of a cool thing, honestly. Now we're actually at the Battle of Hadrian. I mean, the Battle of um, whatever this castle is called, I forgot. I actually did forget. <laughs> what is this castle called? I forgot! Forgive me, Rune God, for I have forgotten which castle we're at. Oh, we're at Castle Koala Bear. Alright, cool. 
We made it. We made it. We're good. All right, let's move this um, clunky looking dude down here first because he's just so... He's so clunky in short range. He doesn't really do very well. It's a game theory. Yeah, we've, we've invented game theories long before game theory was even a YouTube thing. You know? I've had so many theories about so many things. You know what? I guessed right. You can capture a brigandine from another country before the game was even fully out. I was like, I think you can. And I was right. I was right about that. We have to go to a new uh, channel. New Hadrian. Maybe it's New Hadrian. Something like that. I wish I could put... I wish I could stick him in forest. I can't... I really can't get a good forest spot for him, though. Can I? Let's go... I have no idea what kind of formation I want for this team, because I haven't even really used it yet. So I guess we're just going to kind of experiment here. Let's put one there, put one there. Looks like we're going to be coming around the mountain when we come. What'd you say, Sid? It was all mumbled. He said something, though. It was kind of mumbly. heard something. I don't know what it was, though. No, I'll just go here. Why not? I don't... If we lose some gigases in this fight, I'm okay with that. It's not a big deal to me. It's Jose and Sid here. Looks like they're gonna attack me. Yep. They're gonna attack me. almost one shot her or I mean they could two shot her I mean holy cow oh boy I gotta move her out of the way too don't I divine ray and she's got paralyzed too they got two archer shots this is kind of this is quite dangerous to be honest Quite dangerous, it's so exciting. Who is the strongest? So he's kind of doing like the uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? You are. <laughs> is he doing that? I think he's doing that. Ooh, I could move in there, I could hit her. Something fierce right now. Yosh. Yosh. Definitely gonna be a tough fight. I 
I really can't walk into a divine ray though. That's gonna be really bad. But I could give her hell. What do we got? Everybody on this side? Sure, that's fine with me. I wish I could get in that forest. That would help out so much. Swift stance. Yes, let's do it. No, not the way. He's challenging the strongest enemy to fight him. Ah, I see. Welp. She's got seriously good evasion. So I might have to shoot through my own guys to do this. to do. Need to force them to heal themselves instead of anything else and then hopefully we can push in more damage and we'll be good to go. We are going to have ourselves a battle. Oh! Nice. They have so many centers, I'm a bit worried about this here. Uh, Jeez. As far as you can go. None of these options are good. None of those options actually work out for me. They really don't. Well, we're gonna go over here then. Power Fist 500. With a little fainting going on there. Nice, very nice, I like that. Please do some more. So no breath attacks, but an archer shot could hit. Um, although that could fall off too, which usually that kind of does fall off, doesn't it? So let's get you up into place. We'll put you right there. Hiya. Gonna put you one space over to avoid breathing. Although an archer shot could still hit. And I gotta keep you there. <laughs> I kinda have to keep you here, otherwise you might wake up. Okay, so since he he could wake up. I don't know if I should attack right now. Maybe I should just wait. Speed so moves and attacks. Archer shot. Kill off Ayesha, and then that's not good. Oh, 
Okay. They're gonna go. Okay, I'll let them go. All right, what happened? Did I lose my whole crew? Uh, did she back away? I get this feeling like she just walked away. No, no. Oh, she killed off that thing. Making this a little harder, aren't we? And you're all by your lonesome, aren't you, Jose? Although you got some friends. Yeah, the lizard man died. Let's kind of see that now. Let's see here. I only got three guys to work with here. That's not very good. They pin this guy in here. Not very good for me, honestly. burn it all down. That's what I could do. That's more than it can heal. Fortunately, I have, like, no good heals left at all. It's B team, A team, and C team. So that's, that's a good variety of guys I'm gonna get. I could try working on him, though. I don't think... I wonder if that's a better call, because he's, like, right here. Only got two things to deal with him. Just this team and that team. Guess they were <laughs> trying to really kill it off, it seems. Okay, so Hosey will take this much damage. Eight. Oh, 
Oh jeez, that's so much damage incoming here though. hit with this guy. Ooh, I can go all the way in there? Fantastic. Because that one dragon's faint too, so... Can I get in and get out with the dog though? That's, that's what I'm worried about. One, two, three... Should be able to. Hundred percent. Wait, how did I go up with percentages with this? Ah, whatever. It doesn't matter. We got a hundred percent. Do it. <laughs> Sorry, Medessa. got ourselves the high centaur yes oh fantastic that's that is amazing okay I guess it makes sense to do this here. I guess it is from the swift stance. Oh! Hit and evade up. Okay, I kept I kept thinking it was just evade up with that the whole time. But it is the other thing too. So there, there is, there is that. We got ourselves a really interesting battle here because this could go all kinds of sideways. <laughs> it could. Oh yeah, I've got so many things that are kind of low level at this moment too. Oh, you know what? Let's put. Uh, since we don't need you at the moment, we'll, pull, we'll draw you back. I don't know what to do with you at the moment. We'll put you in the forest. That might help you evade a little bit. Gain an extra shot. 100%. So, we got that going for us. You really want to go that way, bro. Are you sure? No, not my little hell doggy. Not her. Ooh, good job. Good job. Thank you for the miss.
Man, my heart's racing on this battle. I'm just... I'm worried about this side here. They've got all these errors, flyers. They've got so much ability to move around here and just trap me. I think I need to go... I just need to... I just need to set up a blockade. If they kill off the angel, I could get that, but I can't have them kill off the leader. That is not good for me there. Um, should I heal up the angel? I think we'll heal up the angel, actually. I don't want the angel to go down. If they focus down the golem, that's that's one thing, but I can't have them focus down the angel right now. Um, okay, we're going to play our cards here. 21%? Sorry, we're not doing that. Oh, come on! 74%! I wanted to get that. I couldn't get that. Okay, so we're, we're two hours in, so I guess after this we'll do some organization and we'll... Uh, I have to call it here. Power Fist 9000. 14% chance. Should I even try this? I don't see what the other... I don't have a lot of other things I can do. I guess I... I cannot move him from here. If he walks in here and slashes her, they could kill her off. I can't have that happen. We gotta go. <sighs> could just sit, I, I suppose. Maybe we should just sit next time. We won't do anything. Just sit. I think she could do a heal though. She might help. Just have one frost spell. Jeez. Wait, who's going next? Who's going next? That's important. Uh, B team goes next. So I can't stop B team. And then I go. So could you get more? You could get a Geno Flame kill, maybe. If I do this. And still. There's too many freaking centaurs. This is nuts. I think we're going to have to stick with some heals here. Jose is like my only good option right now. I can't get this guy like Swift Stance and he even has Swift Stance on too. So unless I can get this guy. Oh jeez. How am I going to do that? Come on, hold out, man, hold out. Or don't. We are getting, uh, it's getting pretty tight here. Things are looking kind of tight. So many centaurs. This is uh, this is gonna hurt. They both have swift stance on. Yeah, they have cost a lot. No joke. Um, who's going after this though? So me and him. I might be. You know what? I don't think I can get him right now, but I might be able to get this guy. So we're just going to pull out. I'm going to try to take as many shots on him as I can, I guess. That or I should just kill off the monsters. I, I, I'm wondering, maybe I should just kill monsters, though. Because... Because I don't know how I'm supposed to hit this guy. 
And he got two hits. He's got 500 hit points to go. Guess we should just start with this here. If I go for a straight up... If I go for a straight up bite... 38% accuracy is not good enough. This will be an easy... Kill there with that thing. I'm really not going to get any accuracy on this guy. I might as well just kill off his stuff. This is crazy they can counter like that. Deadly consequences, you know. I could lose him. Let me guess, you didn't use that at all. You you saved all your heals. Like a good little boy. Yeah, you saved all your heals, didn't you? Down to two. If only I could kill this thing off too, that'd be fantastic, but no. A Geno Flame would be fantastic here though. That'd be that would work out really well. Fortunately I, I probably need to pull back. Team pull back! Okay, we got one more hit. <laughs> Counter shot. It is down to you. It is down to me. You got three archers left. It really is one heck of a slugfest, that's for sure. You know, seeing as how he's kind of trapped back here, we could probably keep him trapped back there, right? I have an idea. Gonna try to trap one of them. It's gonna really piss him off. <laughs> oh! Better give him an idea. Oh, 
Power Man 5000. Do it. Oh boy, he's low. I wish we could hit something here. We are not hitting our targets. Ah. Uh, you just you just wait right there, okay? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. No! Oh boy. <laughs> Get everyone. Hey, how you doing? Ah. Uh, No. <laughs> Just no. Just no. <laughs> I wish, but no. We have ourselves a bit of a problem. I stay and maybe kill him and die in the process, which I could replace with Veda, I guess, but it's still kind of risky, you know? Um, I could definitely get this kill here, maybe. Just 30? That's all? I can't get any more than that? I thought I could get more than that. Okay, well, I don't want to return fire with archers right now because that's a little bit much. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're having a heck of a time, I'm gonna have to say. Morelva's tough, but so is, like... Escalio and Asgars are both the, probably the hardest countries to play as, and it's kind of the same thing here. Because this is like the new, new Escaris, whereas I played the new, new Escalio, and they're both just as hard. Um, and we're trying to play with a lot of split up, differentiated teams, you know? And so far, we're going back and forth with monster kills, like they're killing ours, we're killing theirs. Blah blah blah. It's uh, it's getting it's getting quite rough, honestly. Um, I don't even know what to do with this to hell dog. I have no idea. Gilliam is about as powerful as a Langaborg, which doesn't really mean much. I mean, he's about as dank as a Langaborg, honestly. Gilliam is pretty dank. And, uh... If I should get in here and try shooting him here. If I should shoot this dog down here, this dog looks a little more precarious. I'll try to work with this. Oh geez, really? That's as far as I can get going? Might lose a leader here. Oh boy. Ooh. I can't. If only I could do enough damage to kill something too, but it's just, I'm not getting that kind of. What? Advantage. And C team goes next. She's vulnerable to getting hit. It's either she's gonna get hit and kind of taken apart, or he's gonna get hit and taken apart. I could just have him heal himself, although they're just gonna walk in there and do serious damage three ways. 
This thing can hit in a way. BT might go down. I think even if I healed up Frederico, it's not gonna do much. They'll just come in and do dog will do hitting away, the bird will come in and attack, the other bird will come in and attack, and then he'll come and finish me up, and he's got a archer shot too. I don't think it's gonna help. Might have to lose a, a knight here actually. Good, we got you. <laughs> He's completely out of magic. in there I can't even do that oh my gosh good 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 have too many things that are ready to go down too. Jeez. Dang, they totally broke through. We really have nothing left, honestly. We got almost everything killed off, too. I have no idea what he's gonna hit. He's He has no agility to do that kind of stuff.
Man, those samurais did a massive amount of work. Well, I'm sure there's a lot to learn, all city. <laughs> um, one thing to learn is uh, be very careful of two swordsmen on this kind of field. That's one thing to learn, though. I'm not sure I can get out of this alive. I mean, they they healed that up. This thing's still full. That swordsman could do some serious damage to me. He doesn't have any agility boosts here. So, if I were to get a kill... I mean, maybe? I'd have to knock out one of their knights, though. Or something. And I'm kind of trapped in here. Wait, why am I trapped? Oh yeah, that's yours. You got two of these here still. Yep, and I can only get to there. Of course. Ah, the movement in here is... That thing is kind of in the way. Um, let's do this. If I didn't miss so much in this battle, that would be a little bit different too. There'd be a di there'd be a big difference. I missed a ton in this battle. I mean, seriously, a ton. If I stay, I'm probably losing him. Probably my centaur too. Um, I might be able to knock out this knight though, although I'm not sure. Let's see. Yep, that's pretty high. I could go solo and increase my agility, although I think they can too. Yeah, he's still fairly well hit pointed up. He's still righted up. It's going to be hard to kill him off. Uh, they've got two samurais. Frederico really has nothing left to give. Pushed up. Well, we got Excel. <laughs> I wish I had at least had a Venom spell left here. Mm. It's either I go now or I stay and hope to get a win, but all the misses that I've had so far is just not adding up. Just not adding up much at all. B team has just too much going for them right at this point. Ah, <sighs> all right. Well, we gave it a shot. 
I have to pull back, unfortunately. Um, Garwin has one monster still, so we probably can make use of that. Yep, we gave it a shot, everybody. Just too many misses. I didn't have that many misses. <laughs> It'd be a different story. 52. Oh, and I hit now? Yeah, 71, I can't. Not with a stick. <laughs> it's down to seven. They give me so much hope. Like, just close, so close here. So close, but if I had a few more hits, this might have turned out differently, but I have to pull back for there. Yep. Good job, guys. Did a good, did a good job of of hitting me and uh, missing. I don't know how many attacks I missed. Was it 10, 11, 12? I don't even know how many. It was a lot. It was a lot of misses. Bring ghouls to enclose. Ah, uh, they had too many centaurs. The The whole point of that was they had so many centaurs, they shot so many stuff down. And I didn't have the amount of centaurs that they had. They had one, two, three, four, five centaurs. They had hellhounds for hitting away. They had a lot of mobility. It was more mobility than I could handle. More mobility than I could handle for that team, that's for sure. So we're we're gonna have a hard time here. I mean seriously hard time Recollection foundation of faith Back when Selena Anderson was a novice in training she had a strange experience Selena <laughs> Huh, Selena? Aren't you done here yet? Just give me a minute. You always finish so quickly, Emma. セレナみたいにデメージないからね。もう適当にして夕ご飯食べに行こうよ。お腹ペコペコ。そうね。ありがとう。なるべく早く終わらせるわ。先に行ってて。よし。ほんじゃ、先輩たちにお肉全部取られ
Holy Sovereign Romanov, Marco happened to be strolling by? What? He had sensed that something was amiss and chanted an incantation to calm the waters, after which he was able to pull Selena from the spring. Oh wait, is this just a recollection from long ago? Maybe it is. Here, have some soup. It will do you good to warm up. Thank you, Holiness. <laughs> Selena finished describing what had happened. She found herself overwhelmed, overwhelmed by a storm of tears. She couldn't help but think that mana, the mana spring had been trying to punish her for her own unworthiness. Yeah, but the recollection I thought was like what just happened and just putting in, put into the recollection, put into the, uh, the thing like it's more current than like long, long ago. I'm kind of used to that with the Grand Edition having a, a recollection area where you could see everything that just happened, you know? They don't really do a lot of long past tense things, so this is kind of new to me that they actually have something like this. Do you think that the mana spring was angry with you? <笑>ルーンの神とて時に凹を曲げられることもあるだろう。ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、ふふ、
maybe it's all past, but to me it all kind of felt like when I was playing Morelva, most of it felt like it was all like happening right now. Especially with what happened with um, Stella meeting that little girl that got angry with her. And it was kind of put into, it, it wasn't that put into recollection? So what's hap, you know, she's complaining about us conquering the continent. And uh, the little girl complains about it, gets stuck in Stella's head, and finally, once she kisses a dew, and uh, she kind of grows through that, it, she just becomes a pirate queen, and she kind of gets over those feelings. So it seems like if that's all in there, I don't know if it's all past or present tense. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd have to get, like, this is the only second uh, LP I've done with this country, so... I can't say I know 100% about all that, so I'm not sure, but my understanding of playing Grand Edition for 20 years was that the recollection in Grand Edition was from your current, present things that you've done that you can see in recollection after you've already done it. So it was more of a present tense thing, it wasn't a past tense thing. All cutscenes called Recollection. Yeah, we're in the present. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Pedro. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so, like, everything that's, that's showing, like, recollection, I'm thinking from a Grand Edition perspective, where it, in Grand Edition, it just happens now and is put into recollection so you can go look at it later. So when I'm looking at recollection now, I'm just thinking, oh, it's happening right now. That's just kind of the impression it gives me the whole time. So that's why I'm saying that. So I guess some of this really is probably from the past. Either that or he's an actual ghost <laughs> that came back and did this to her right now. <laughs> we'll have to look at this afterwards, but, you know. Yeah, this is, um, it's a bit of a quandary I'm in right now. But anyways. Does it mean that I'm not qualified to serve the rude god? <laughs> this guy's got a good laugh. Yeah, as the rune god, no two of us are alike. No two are alike? Tsumari. In your case, when you're more when you're blessed with more of the Rune God's power than your body feels is necessary. Repelled it. Is that my ability? I believe so, Selena. You're still just a novice, and I don't think you're doing it just to reject the Rune God's power. But for the time being, I would recommend that you not overindulge in mana, otherwise, it could create even more problems. Like what just happened now? If he wasn't before, Rugat is most likely aware of your power now. He will be watching you. In many ways, the Rune God is not so different from us humans. When something causes us displeasure, we tend to want to push it away. That is my take on the situation in any case. I don't know, what should I do then? Oh, <laughs> no need for tears. By keeping your distance, my child. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Though recently, Selena, 
thought that perhaps just because you could do something doesn't mean you should. It goes not only for myself, but for mankind as a whole. どういうことですか？人間はマナの力に頼りすぎていないだろうか。確かにルーンの神のご加護を受けて、我らはこうして長きに生きてきた。I wonder if we have become too reliant on mana. The rune god's protection is a blessing that has allowed man to live long, prosperously. But that does not change the fact that we have also fought many deadly wars. This may sound strange coming from the leader of the Zai, but our tragic history of bloodshed is rather closely related to Mana. Sometimes, I wonder if the Rune God is really as all-powerful as we believe him to be. <laughs> You'll keep that little bit to yourself, won't you? It'll be our little secret. It need never reach the ears of the High Priest and my son Rudo. And Selena, pursue the faith that suits you. Faith is simply the foundation of our souls. It is not something that belongs to any one God. Right. <laughs> From that moment on, Holy Romanov, or sorry, <laughs> Holy Sovereign Romanov became the foundation of Selena's faith. <laughs> A member of the Holy Watchman caught sight of Frederick as he worried over his incessant stomach pains. You're right, Frederick. You don't look well. Oh, Sir Jaden. Well, to be honest, I'm in a bit of a tight spot. Unfortunately, I am not certain. You are the right person to speak with. It's a matter of matter of rather delicate matters concerning the faith. <laughs> He's a big dude. He's basically patternous in this game, except for his uh, patternous had uh, patternous wasn't going gray. Uh, not not as much at the time. Lord Frederico, we are both followers of the same faith, are we not? Please, be glad to help you however I can, however I may. Thank you for your kind words, Sir Jaden. Very well, I will speak frankly. I trust that you will keep this between the two of us. But I have the shits. I mean, I'm... Uh, I, uh... I don't know how to say this right. Frederico worried about and fighting in Jaden, but once he made up his mind to speak, it was as if a dam had broken and the constipation had just become running out. You see, the truth is my family had been devout followers of the Mohana sect for generations, myself included, yet now the recent violence. And my brother, a senior statesman, even he says we should cut down any Mohana we find. However, I'm afraid that doing such things just to protect me and my family would only anger the rune god. But on the other hand, I am a runite of the Holy Sovereign. And if I do not desire to attract more attention from the Holy Watchman, I have wondered if it would just be easier to convert now. Oh, just thinking about it, it's making my stomach worse. It's already attracted my attention, but... Stifling a bout of a derisive laughter, Jade put on a warm smile as he placed a hand on Frederick's shoulder and everything let loose from there. There is no need for you to rest your decision. I do not believe His Holiness Rudo thinks of all members of Mahana sect as sinners. And I'm sure he is aware of how difficult changing one's faith can be. 
Your family has been in service of the Holy Sovereign for generations. That is not something easily forgotten. There is no need for you to bring up the subject of your faith again. Just focus on serving the nation as best you can. Sir Jin, you are too kind. I feel as if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders and my bowels. Oh, man. I will sleep easy tonight. Might I ask for your continued assistance? I will be sure to put in a good word of His Holiness for you. But of course, need only ask. I too have a family to support. I'd be glad to have your patronage. Mm. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Jay. Oof, man. That took a long time, but we finally flushed that problem down the toilet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. We got Jaden on our team. And we got him up to first. <laughs> we're gonna put... We're gonna put little, um... The blind kid. We're gonna put him on the team where we lost. <laughs> so we actually have some decent stuff here. Okay, cool. Oh, he's ooh, level five. Let's class him up into a clown. <laughs> Let's class him up into a mage. <laughs> we'll get some MP out of this here. Oh, I'm having too much fun with this game. But then again, is there ever such a thing as too much fun? I don't know. All right. We got that. That's nice. We have 30 points here. Ooh, units. Oh. 35. Kind of want that. 35. I honestly don't care about the the whole thing. It's whatever to me. Um 12. Center would be nice. Although... <laughs> I think that's what happened, Pedro. I think that's probably what happened there. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, now we have more centaurs here. Let's see what we can do with that sort of thing. Um, okay, 30 here. Okay, we had a... Oh, 35. I want more hellhounds, honestly. You know what? I, I want more hellhounds, and I gotta do it somehow. No, this team is gonna need that, honestly. Uh, let's put level one up here because Rudo's team is just so badass. We don't even have to worry about that. All right, let's get a let's get one of these here. Yay! It sucks. All right, cool. I mean, the whole <laughs> the whole recollection was about his stomach hurting. And literally, the dialogue had almost nothing to do with it. I was like, how is that possible? That doesn't seem to make any sense. But it, it happened that way. So we got her as a dancer. Proficiency 1. I can't class you up. There's no point. Okay, so we got to move a team over here. Yikes. We had some atrocities here, didn't we? We really did. All right. We're going to move the other dude over here. Hopefully he can kind of cover for now. We'll play a little defense, though. They had a lot of centaurs, though. I mean, all those centaurs really made... Really kind of made the difference. We did kill a lot of their stuff. They killed a lot of our stuff, too, but it just wasn't going to happen. Um... At least not that battle. Probably come up and do a different battle here. Do 
Do we get any sweet classes out of this, though? Let's see here. I really need a frontline fighter, and I, I don't think changing him is really going to help us at this point. points I have no idea how this is going to help but no idea snakes You know, maybe we'll get one snake. I think we probably could do one, but... Yeah, we'll have to see. I'm surprised I get a snake from here, though. <laughs> Snakes for a solid snake. <laughs> Maybe so. We just don't have the points for that, do we? It's really just down to this. Okay, that's a little better. We have to move a team over here. Jaden is gonna do a good job making up for that. I gotta say, this isn't really my normal gameplay, honestly. I don't attack on all fronts with every single knight all the time. That's not really how I how I play Brigandine, but seeing as how this game, you kind of have to, like, be a stronger front in order to make advances, it almost forces you into that, and it's really tough, because usually if a team doesn't look like it's going to hold up very well, I just don't even bother pushing it. I just keep it on defense, but the fact is you can kind of, you can kind of level up a little bit easier in some ways, but it does help 
it's actually a little bit better in a way. So even if you push and you don't make a really good effort, you have extra knights in the background, it's not so bad. Oh, wait a second, this is like 50 points to level up, right? Okay, let's move you up here. The only thing I wish it was, like, going back to, I, I wish it wasn't, like, a bazillion points to max out. I understand the Phoenix, because it's usually kind of like that. But, um, other stuff is just way too much. Way too much. 95. 95. Hundreds. 91. It's 95. I can't even do that. Do that. 60 points. 15 points. I don't think there's any other way to do this. Yeah, we'll have to see about that too. Oh, there's... Oh. More snakes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do we have for front lines? Well, we already have... A couple guys that are kind of front line. Change him into <laughs> Nope. <laughs> if I was in the 80s for agility, maybe I could class into something else. I could turn into a knight, maybe? I mean, uh... Get some hit point recovery. This might be able to help this team, though. I think maybe, um, a knight... Turn into Morelva? I don't know. I don't know. This feels a bit harder than Morelva, honestly. Seems like most of these knights kind of suck. Morelva actually had some decent knights. Like, a lot of more project knights, but as soon as I got to grow them a bit, they, like, turned around. And plus, Umumaro having him as a tank was amazing. I mean, Rudo's great and all that, but... Uh, Umaro, Pluto, Sophie, Tommy, Stella, Morelva has amazing knights. They really do. I'm gonna go fighter. I don't know why. I just, it's gonna go fighter for this guy. I need some tanky stuff, honestly, to push out. I, I really do need some absolute tanks. And, uh, this guy, this guy really is a letdown. Gilliam is, is intelligence 65 for a freaking cardinal. For a cardinal. He's kind of a glorified healer. It's really nothing special.
call it blue bottle? I guess we could do that. I suppose so. Yeah, this team needs this team needs some uh some range stuff, that's true. Probably some support. Wait a second, so we're getting seventy six. I could go with two hydras. That would be better range than just, uh... I want some snakes. I want some snakes. We're just gonna put snakes everywhere because this game's all about the snakes. Okay, we'll go ahead and give some names here. Blue Bottle? What is that in reference to, man? It's kind of like jellyfish. All right. Okay. Okay, so that team's the best we can make it. Um, probably attack south from there. This team's gonna have to attack north. Um. <laughs> so many healers, holy cow. He's a ranger. He's ranger Rick. He's got... What are we doing with him? We're gonna... Yeah, he's gotta get up a little more proficient here, though. We've got a level 5 that is sitting in the background. I wonder if we should take that instead. Although we already have a couple of Simrgs and we have some front lines, you know, maybe we should just kind of stick with, stick with it the way it is. We kind of need these for healers. She's a healer too. He can heal. He can heal. I'd rather him like frontline. This can heal. So we have a decent amount of healers here. I really can't, like, replace anything right now, it's... Maybe we could get more snakes, though, but I don't know where we're gonna fit them. Mm. 
Nah. I'll just leave it there. It's, it's whatever. See what we can do with her. She is. What is she right now? Sorceress. Okay, let's do some clericking here. Heals, cures, halos, Geno Frost, Frost Charm. Alright, cool. Let's do that. No proficiency, five proficiency. I think we're going to keep her like that. Units, class. I can't class anybody, really. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Okay, we might be able to get this. I think a react spell would be a little better. with the wrong we'll have to flip that though all right we're gonna get a hairy fairy it's just a blue jellyfish take Portuguese man of war ah okay that's cool okay we'll give her a couple of react spells there that'll be Quite fitting for her, I think. And then I could react the archer too, but I think I think considering things, it'd be better for Monica to get a little stronger here, you know. Hmm. Okay, this team looks pretty solid. We're gonna have to break down a lot of their stuff. I mean, we could go after them hardcore here. Maybe. Although they're a little bit higher at this point than I am. She's at a loss. She's at a loss. We could take this slowly and knock out most of the stuff she's got, which might be easier in a way. So we got that team situated. We got... I really just want to bring him around and use him somewhere, though. I'm getting tired of questing him. Like, I need to use him somewhere. there. All your knights over here. You know what? I need him on a good team. And I need to build a decent team. So how about you just... You just stay right here, Jaden. You stay right here, Jaden. We're going to level up those Hellhounds and those Archers. That's what we're going to do with that team. The Orange Country's in Orange, yeah. 
Got eight troops left. All right, we're gonna have more range with snakes and an angel here. Jaden's here too. I need a good team here. And Aisha is a, a pretty good knight, but um, we'll have to put her somewhere else, I think. I think Jade might be a better fit here. Wait, did we... Oh wait, so we classed him up, right? Okay, he's level 6. Duty 7-9. Cannot turn into a priest? Why? Intelligence. Intelligence? He's a mage with that low of intelligence? to do with this guy. <laughs> this intelligence really kind of sucks. <sighs> Agility of 79. Maybe I go monk. This intelligence is just horrible. Two fifty, two fifty. Wow, they just cap you two fifty. You don't get a choice. That's interesting. <laughs> he's really not going to do much with spells, is he? Not with 52 intelligence. He's just... It's uh, absolutely garbage. Oh, man. Why is he even... Why was he even a mage to begin with? That makes absolutely no sense. Strength goes up to 66. I don't know. Well, <laughs> Barbarian isn't going to help him very much. <laughs> He'll get power if I do Barbarian. I go full Viking. Oh man, what to do with this dude? You know, I think maybe I'll go Dark Knight with him. Maybe we'll go Dark Knight. I have no idea. I just kind of want to do Barbarian, but get the Viking class there. Just. I think Fighter might actually level up some intelligence too, whereas Thief and Monk, I'm not sure they will. Barbarian, I don't think it will really at all. The only way to get him a slightly better flame spell is just to put him as Fighter class, it seems that's the only way. You might get locked into another class. Yeah, we've been going on for three hours. Holy cow. Um, we'll have to call this after this. Um, 
I might get locked into another class, but the fact is his intelligence is absolutely terrible. His growth is S, though. By the way, I always keep forgetting that. I wish that they changed this to growth as something and growth rate as something else because this is always confusing to look at. I have... I always forget this. Growth rate and growth. What is the difference between the two? It's like a terrible idea just to put growth and growth rate there. And have it called magic pool because MP means magic points. <laughs> so it's like, what are you talking about? Um, intelligence recorded by sorcerer. Yeah, if I go class, level 10 or higher, level 20 or higher. Yeah. I don't know. I guess a fighter is not a bad idea. It's just... He's not going to be that great. He'll have a flame spell, though. Be a little versatile. Yeah, I guess we'll go that way. He sort of has stats already built for, like, fighting anyways. It's just strange to see a blind kid turn into a fighter that was a mage and actually use him on your team. It's almost comical. Okay, we're gonna move him over. This team is set. I think we're gonna go with a full, strong team here, you know? He could get cursed from a wizard, but his starting stats with intelligence are absolutely garbage. And to grow even stronger than that, I'm not even sure that's going to be... I don't know if he's going to get anywhere near Pluto status, as far as turning into a mage goes, because he's at 50-something intelligence. He's even worse than Gilliam right now. He'd have to grow like crazy to surpass him even. Okay, so we got that moved. Don't know what else to do. Okay. Okay, so we can't fight with this team. This team is getting uh, repaired at this point. This team can definitely attack said capital. Do a bit of a pushback. The team can go after that. This team could carry on. If they don't attack me, that is. <laughs> she's still sitting on defense. I don't know what she's going to do at all. This might be the perfect time to do a dual strike. I might lose some territory here. It's very plausible I might lose some territory. They could attack me too, but... I could take out Morelva at this point. And get some extra knights. Just have to send another team over there to... counterattack what they're moving into. So likely to move in here to send another team over here. Yeah, probably something like that.
yeah, I don't really care. It's if as long as I get somebody that's nice. You know, could quest, could do something. If I wait, Stella will come back to life, and Stella's pretty strong. If I take them out now, oh, plus two. If I take them out now, I can send this team over here and defend. So even if I lose this, this one will move back up north. This one will come back here. That one will go over there. That one will move over there. This team will attack over here. We'll be pretty well set, honestly. It won't be so bad. Because once Morelva's finished off, I have no use of this team down here. So this team could come up here, or it could go up to the north. Really just depends on how I feel. You know, and then this team's moving in here with this team. Um, then I attack with just Selena. No, we got them all going. I'm just doing the hit the L button to attack with everybody now, which is actually quite convenient. So, yeah, even if they take this out, um, it just it's just going to be easier this way because if I push them into one castle, they'll have a full-blown team. And that full-blown team will do massive damage to whatever I have sending into it. So this will be a lot easier. And it'll give two different teams a little bit of a better level up too. So... If they don't attack me, which I don't think they'll attack me, I think we got a good chance of getting in here. We're going to take up Morelva the next LP. That's what we're going to do. So. Alright. That attack, that attack. That attack, that attack. I can't do anything else. Go ahead and save it here. No. Um... Hard mode. Okay. Alright. Well, that does it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, this went a bit longer than I thought, but I guess it can happen sometimes. So, next time, we're likely going to take out Morelva, and uh, we might lose a castle. Unfortunately, we couldn't take one of their castles here. It got uh, a bit bunched up. It got got quite difficult. Samurais, they did a great job in that forest, you know. But um, we'll come back there again. We'll go back into that uh, Shinobi tribe territory. We'll try to push in there, try to see what we can do. Morelva is likely going to be lost. We'll probably gain an extra knight from that. And um, we'll see where we can put him, because he might be a better asset. We might even exchange Gilliam for whatever knight we get from Morelva. So if we get a good knight there, then uh, we'll have a good knight next time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, next time, look, we're going to be done with the orange. We might even be done with the uh, Holy Gustava Empire. Uh, and then we literally are just working on the whole west coast. And it should be should be good for us honestly but um yeah have a good night everybody i'm gonna leave you with the outro if you're on youtube please subscribe you know that'd be great and uh twitch thank you so much for the subscribes on twitch and likes and all that stuff i hope you had a great time and we'll see you in the next episode have a good night game over Over. When I say it is over!